Hey guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to learn about named topo. So, in the previous video, we learned about dictionaries in Python. So, in the dictionary, we can store different keys and its associated values. And named tuple is also similar to dictionary. Here also, we can store keys and its relevant values and access the value using its keys. But the process of creating a named tuple is a little bit different than the dictionary. So let's take a look at it. Now to create a named tuple, we have to import named tuple function. And the named tuple function is defined in the collections method. So we have to import from collections and we'll import named tuple. Okay. Now let's create a name tuple for date. So date equals named tuple and we'll give the name of date. So the first parameter is the name and then the second parameter is the keys. So we can put the keys inside the list. So in the date we have month, day and year. So we can add month as the first key then day as the second key and year as the final key so here we have created a named tuple named date now we can use this date named tuple to create different key value pairs so let's say today equals and then date now inside this parenthesis we can provide the values for these three keys, so month, day, and year. So today is the October 8, 2020. So for the month, it's going to be October. So we can just give 10 as the month value. And today is 8 October, so day is going to be 8. And it is the 2020 year, so we can give 2020. Okay, so here we created a variable named today and we use this date which is a named tuple and we provided these three values for these three keys so month is going to be 10 day is going to be 8 and year is going to be 2020 so if we try to print this today now let's print it so it is printing that today is the date with month 10, day 8, and year 2020. Now, if we just want to get the month, we can print today dot month. And now if we try to print it, it will print 10. If we try to print the day, it should print 8. So let's see. Okay. And if you try to print today.year, it should print 2020. Okay. And we can create multiple key value pairs using this one named tuple. So we can also create, let's say, tomorrow. And tomorrow will be 10 and 9, 2020. So we can print today dot day and also tomorrow dot day so today is 8 october and tomorrow will be 9th october so if we print these two days so today is 8 and tomorrow will be 9th and we can also create the date for yesterday so Yesterday was 7th October 2020 and we can also print yesterday so 7, 8 and 9. Now we could also use the dictionary for this same output but using the dictionary it will take a lot more code than this named tuple. So, Let's try to create this yesterday, today, and tomorrow using the dictionary. 
so let's get rid of this print so let's say yesterday dictionary now it has to be month as the key and month will take the value of 10 then day will be 7 and year will be 2020 now for today and it it is for the dictionary now again we have to type all this keys so month will be 10 day will be 8 and year will be 2020 and for tomorrow again we have to type all of these keys and values so month 10 day 9 and year 2020 so if you compare the codes we can see in the name tuple we have to define these keys just one time in the named tuple and then we can create the variables that can access these keys and provide the values for all those keys using just the name of that named tuple but in the dictionary we have to repeat the code or repeat the keys each time we want to create a new dictionary so dictionary takes a lot of code so if we have to create multiple key value pairs with the same keys then we can go with the named tuple instead of dictionaries for the less amount of code so that's the advantage of named tuple and that's gonna do it for this video i'll see you soon with the next video till then keep learning goodbye